Hey everybody, Big Mac here. How's it going? Welcome back to our Let's Play of Quest 64. Um, last time we left off, we were in Glencoe Forest, checking out the scene. Uh, just trying to figure out what's going on in here. Uh, one thing you guys will probably notice right away is I have a lot more HP than I used to. Um, basically, like I mentioned in the previous video, I died like right after I stopped recording. And then I tried to come back. And then I died again to a giant tree and a giant uh... oh that was a nice use of the rolling rock and a giant rooster dinosaur thing that I can make plenty of innuendos with but I won't whack alright so obviously we're back in the forest and we're battling these uh, mummy ghost stalkers uh... they're not too bad especially if they just keep throwing their big rocks around uh... ooh maybe I could play like well, not if I keep, not if I just miss the guy. Um, <clears throat> like, what's that thing? You know, I can base. Oh, never mind. They're walking up to the. They're walking up to me. Well, like, what's that thing in baseball where, like, you know, the guy is stuck between two bases, and the people just keep throwing the ball back and forth so that they can trap the guy? Like, what's that called? Like, is there a term for it, or is it just, you know, a really bad one guy's really bad luck? Well, I'm having really bad luck if I keep missing this thing. Oh my gosh. Anyway. There we go. That's one of them down. And now I can... Two of them? Three for three? Come on. Three for three. Ha ha! Alrighty then. Uh, so, of course, now I get to, you know, recuperate a little bit. Uh, one, another thing you guys will notice is my uh, Wind Crystal. Uh, or Wind Spirit is now at level 7. Uh, let me show you what we got from that really quickly. Uh, by use, by upgrading our wind crystal, actually it was at level six. We earned the the technique restriction. So basically, it will yeah immobilize um, a computer enemy for about for a couple of turns if it hits. You know, it's not a guaranteed hit, but if it does, then hey, there you go. It'll paralyze the computer for a couple turns. They are unable to move, and oh, giant tree. All right. Well, first we got so we have ghosts and a tree. Oh, I barely missed that one. That was cool. Um, fire. Um, from what I gather, the tree is just a big um, earth spirit, or not earth spirit, wind spirit. Because they normally just like to use yeah, it's a tree ant, and they normally just use like a wind cutter level two. Of course, it's kind of got like weird totem pole thing going on it's got like two heads and you know basically it's really creepy looking now one thing I do hate is when you know all these enemies surround me and I really can't do anything about it uh, there is a move that I will learn later on I forget when exactly though that will help you know remedy this kind of situation but until then uh, we just have our basic attacks <coughs> Excuse me. All right, these guys. These guys are almost dead. Beautiful. Hey, here's a house, and uh, we can select the new element. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up my water to ten. I'm actually gonna wa uh, level everything up to ten, and then I'm gonna focus on earth and fire again a little bit more. Haha! -ha, now that our earth crystal is at level eight. Now we heal for 6 HP every time. So now I don't have to be constantly doing this for, you know, nearly as long as I used to. Hooray! That's good on everybody's part. So there's that little random house here in, out here in the forest. Uh, hopefully nobody's home. Hey, there's a spirit. And a giant... Hot Lips! Um... Whoa, Hot Lips. You got some... You're feisty, aren't you? You know, I think I'm just gonna keep my distance from you, if that's okay. Uh, maybe not. I might just have to whack you like normal. Except, ow, you're hurt a lot. Hopefully you don't take that many hits. Jiminy Christmas. Whew, okay. You know, it looks like you seem to, get, you know, aid us in getting our, to our next crystal already quite a bit. Um, again, you know, usually when people play this game, they, they 
tend to prefer to want to up their water stats as much as possible, uh, mostly because they're, you know, that way they can keep healing a lot. So let's do that again, and let's see how much we heal next this time. Oh, we still heal only up to six. Oh, sad face. But what's in oh, over here? There's just this random house out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, let's go in, see what we can find. Well, hi, lady. Follow the scenic valley into the forest, and you will come upon a blue cave. Come upon a blue cave. But I can assure you, the road will not open without permission from the spirits. So are you telling me I'm not supposed to be here yet? Silent flute. What does a silent flute do? A silent flute, a strange flute with no sound, prevents enemy spell. So basically, the enemies cannot do any kind of magical attacks. Oh, there's a little resting area in here. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong. Can I, like, you know, stay the night or anything? Nope. Kelly is kicking me back out. Kelly with her icy blue, beautiful hair. Um, anyway, uh, Brian? How old are you again? You're only like 10, remember? Uh, so following along this road, we're just still checking out the, the whole place. Trying to, ah! Well, gee, I come around the corner and boom, I get ambushed. Isn't that cute? No, that's terrible. It's not cute. It's terrible. So let's keep following through these guys. So we met Ms. Kelly, who apparently knows something about that we don't, about a blue cave in this area. So we'll have to try and go check it out. And even if we're not supposed to, you know, know about it yet, at least we can look at it and see what's going on. You know, maybe it's like a secret passage or something. That would be cool. Whack. Of course, another thing that, you know, since we're in the forest, we're not going to be able to use our escape wings, not that we have, at any time so far in this game, but, you know, there, we really don't have much of an option in terms of escaping once we enter these forests. And then, of course, uh, if we, whether or not we can investigate that blue cave, uh, we're probably just going to have to keep going back to Duran Duran Flats, and from there, ow, stop jumping on me, we're not doing jumping jacks. Anyway... Heal for six. Hooray. Well, it's definitely better than healing for four. That's for sure. That's like 50% improvement right there. Anyway, let's go check out what's in this direction. Oh, man. Hmm. You know, these guys are... Well, wait. I am, like, right next to an exit, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just gonna quit this fight. Later, guys. <laughs> Later, suckas. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty big place. So, obviously, there's... Plenty of opportunities for us to be roaming around here. And odds are, there's probably going to be a spirit or two in here that I miss. So, if you guys happen to know the... Whoa. That's a pretty lake. Can I get onto the other side of that? Oh, and now we have blue thugs. We have dark goblins, because regular ones weren't dark enough. Well, obviously, these ones have apparently never seen the light of day or something. I don't know. Um, that one up is agility, and he has a wind cutter. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Of course, upping, upping one's agility does a couple of things for a character. It uh, makes their octagon larger. It also, you know, allows them to have a better chance of missing, or of being missed when attacked by an enemy, namely me. <coughs> so let's see what these uh, blue goblins are up to. Ow, ow, ow. At least you're not green goblins or anything. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. You know, it is possible to avoid, like, all three of those wind cutters. I've done it before, but it requires, like, you know, a bit of skill and a bit of finesse, which, frankly, I don't have. Anyway, there's some weird rocks up ahead. Let's go check those out as soon as we can. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 Why did I not hit anybody? Bad, Brian. Alright. Everybody should be just about dead. Mr. Mummy, uh, one more or two more whacks should do it for you. And, okay, this better do it. Like, seriously. You're starting to annoy me, Mr. Mummy. Alright. Oh, we're getting close to another spirit. That's always useful. And again, it is a good thing, too, that we're healing now up six at a time instead of four, because 
our max HP has now gone up by, you know, quite a few bits. Again, just during the single video. And my screen, I forgot to do this thing with the screensaver again. I am so smart. Anyway, uh, it's over this way. Wait. Mmm, do I really want to fight these guys again? Can I get away? Can I get a what, what? Can I get away, way? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not in a fighting mood. Let's just get away from these guys for now. And then reconf reconfigure everything else in a second. So, okay, here's some weird blue rocks. Interesting. There's like some, whoa, it's like I'm underwater or something. That is funky. Funky NASA. But unfortunately, I don't think we can do anything at this point in the game. Which, you know, is a shame. Hey, hey. Aha. I knew there was something over this way. Besides a giant tree that I was trying to avoid. Grr. Oh, I thought I almost avoided all three. That would have been cool. Anyway. Uh, so, the apartment hunt goes on for me. Uh, I've been checking different places around town. There's one that I love, except it's just too expensive for me on my budget. Um, I know $600 a month for a one bedroom is cheap in some parts of the country, but uh, where I'm from, that's that's on the pricey side. <coughs> but it is like it's a one bedroom. Uh, all utilities pay, but still. Uh, let's up our water to level 10. Ooh, and we've now activated Soul Searcher. And our healing goes up by 7 at a time now. Sweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and... I don't know, I'll leave this question up for you guys. Uh, should I be focus... Should I be focusing more on... Uh, what? Another one? Sweet. Well, I guess that answers my question for me. Uh, if I can finish up this battle. Yeah, let's, let's just... Yeah, we ran away from the last couple battles, so let's go ahead and just use it, uh... Can I get... Aw, uh, can I grab the spirit right now? No, I don't think so. Okay, anyway. Let's, uh... Haha, <laughs> rolling rock does work. Hooray for alcohol poisoning. No, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, uh, we got some dark goblins here. Again, they're just gonna be up to their old tricks again. Uh, probably just using agility up and wind cutter volume 2. The best of wind cutter, volume 2. Now available on Rhino Records. Um, what? I don't know, even I'm making less sense to myself nowadays. Except one thing that, you know, I'm, I am gonna discuss just because, you know, I, I think it's, it's worth bringing up. Um, is my voice boring? Like, am I boring? <laughs> I mean, I know that's a very blunt statement, but it's like, you know, I mean, I fall asleep listening to myself, listening to my own LPs. I don't, I mean, I mean, maybe my, maybe, you know, my, my doctor should say, would be like, oh, use Mitch's, or use Big Mac's LPs for, you know, instead of a sleeping pill or something, but I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways that I could, you know, liven up my commentary a little bit. Unfortunately, um, I'm not very funny, so I'm just gonna have to go with. Ooh, well, hey, two crystals or two spirits like in no time at all. Sweet, wait, where is it? There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, ooh, and uh, our wind spirit has now learned evade, so that's gonna probably up all one of our stats. We'll check it out in the next time we battle. Uh, this is been Big Max saying later.